Hello everybody, welcome to a full game League of Legends commentary, where I will be playing Zed in the mid lane against Yasuo in, you know, a, uh, a middle silver rank game, so not a high quality game, but, you know, not a high quality YouTube, so you're just gonna have to kind of deal with it. Anyway, so we are playing Zed, and we're gonna commentate. The first thing you wanna do, is you wanna learn what Zed does, it's passive. When your enemy is low enough, Zed's auto attack deals bonus magical damage based on 6% of their maximum health. Okay. Q, you throw a shuriken. W creates another version of you that doesn't get hit, but it does use your abilities. B, you do like a spinny kill move, and then you're all, you blink onto somebody, you mark them, and all the damage you do, or physical damage you do to them, and then a certain amount of time is then, percent of that is done to them again when the mark pops. There you go. That is Zed in a shell of a nut. So I'm, of course, leaning against the Astro. He's using the Super Galaxy scan. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. Odyssey? Could be it. Oh, God. You were actually. Okay. Well, Pantheon's going to walk at him, maybe get hit with a tornado, but at the end of the day, nothing's really going to happen. Um, looks like he is going to flash. So, and that's. Alright, well, looks like we traded kills on each other's jungler in the mid lane. That's what we did. Um, it's not bad. I got a red buff. It's definitely better for me than blue buff. Blue buff is free as well. Which yeah, doesn't use mana and his cooldown. Well, Q is the only important cooldown. It's, you know, it's a good attack speed, so. Um, my buff doesn't really matter, because Yasuo pushed me into the tower, because he's Yasuo. Well, but at that time, not that time. Haha, -ha. I made you look like a... So after flexing on Yasuo in there, um, get this minion, 16, 16, it's pretty even. Um, this guy doesn't dodge shurikens for shit, so that's helpful. Um, it does push a lot though, apparently. So that's, I mean, it's not convenient, but... Thanks, Pantheon. <laughs> so I'm just gonna push this then after getting that uh, that really difficult kill there. I saw Pantheon coming down. I knew I could slow Yasuo just by auto attacking him since he had the minion wave pushed up. There are no minions behind him so he could dash through to get out. So it was just a really easy play to make, and we made it, and I got another kill. And I pushed the this tower, make misses at these minions, so I'm getting the experience some money, and I'm gonna back. So, um, obviously with this money, I'm just going to be going for some damage, because, uh, that's how you play Zed, you do damage. So, it looks like on Yasuo's death, he got another Duran's Bleed, he got a, he got a Control Ward, he got a Booties. But, his combat effectiveness really did not increase, whereas mine has gotten big, like my wiener. Kidding? My wiener's normal size. Um... You know, because, I mean, realistically, like, I feel like hot dog buns only come in one size, so, like, if you get extra long hot dogs, like, yeah, you have more meat to get the same amount of bun, and you actually just get screwed up, which is not a good experience. So, never get an oversized wiener, it just doesn't fit on the sandwich bun, and then you're just not any good. So, there you go. That, that's some life advice right there. Yeah, good Q, yeah, so where'd you get it? The idiot store? Oh, that was terrible. Terrible is that? Oh, doesn't really matter. Uh, 
Um, so I'm level 6 now, so if the Astro gets too close, I can just kind of ult him. Uh, even if it doesn't kill him, it'll probably just force him out of lane. So, it's not bad. That was a little shuriken thing over his head. Is it a bug? Or do they change that Z? Oh. Hmm. They did change that Z. I have no idea when they did that. Context. I don't read the patch notes. So yes, with tornado like charge is kind of hard to see on that scan. It's not useful. So Yasu is M I A I A I O. I lied. He was here the whole time. Okay, I don't know why that when he throws that wall. Yasuo's Flash. So Yasuo's Flash, longer cooldown than my ult, longer cooldown than my Ignite. So that is a worthy exchange there for me. Uh, Alright, so it looks like Yasuo is trying to get some check-ins. It's not working though, because Pantheon's actually doing the check-ins. But, you know, he, he's trying his best, you know? Can't fault him for that. So, I'm going to keep letting him push waves. Uh, there isn't really to, like, force anything yet. This Pantheon is literally here. Which he now is. Okay, flash. The auto, proc the passive, kill the Yasuo, and just like that, that is a three kills ad. That's not bad. So now I kind of want to roam around the map, make plays, and try to transfer my lead into a lead for the whole team. Um, obviously, I'm gonna, you know, be in a situation where I can do that, which I'm not right now, but maybe I will be. I can't really get any work done top. Um, Silas is pretty, well, he's not super far behind Cled, but he's far enough behind that. I think it's worth my time. The best bet would probably be to go... I don't know. Could be hard to do bottom lane, too. <laughs> they do not have a great team to play Romy against, but I can figure something out. I can also just... Uh, another option is to literally just stay mid and just absolutely bloody bully the shit, the living shit out of Yasuo. Because I'm so strong now in comparison to him, that if he just kind of, like, steps up, he's just gonna die. I mean, he, he, just, he just really can't compete with me right now, so. So I can just kind of live in my gangster's paradise, you know, do whatever I want. Um, I'm actually gonna go with the cold ball. Let's see. My time. There's no way I'm not getting something out of this. See? That's what you do. That's why you watch your map, ladies and gentlemen. I saw Silas getting harassed under tower by Udi. I'm like, you know what? They're gonna commit too hard to this, and I'm already fed. I can get more fed. And you know what? I got more fed. So, always watch your map. Sometimes the enemy team will be stupid, and they will give you free stuff. And if there's one thing you will learn in college, it's that goddamn there is nothing you shouldn't do for free stuff. So, um, after that buy, I'm going to get hold serrated. Dirk, 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 dirk. 
And I'm gonna go back to lane against Yasuo. And I'm gonna make him have a bad time. Which is similar to making him have a good time, except instead of a good time, it's actually bad. So, that's the difference, in case you couldn't figure it out. Figured I'd let you know. Yes, he's now missing. Don't know where he went. I do know who here is bottom, though. So he is gonna keep that all in, which, I mean, no reason not for he's dead anyway. The Ignite was stupid, but... Uh, I suppose stupid is a stupid does. Learn that we're watching Force Comp. Great movie. Recommend it. So, what I did there is, like I said, I can just bully Yasuo at this point. So all I really have to do is start a fight with him, and I'm more or less guaranteed to win the fight. He just can't stick up to me. I'm, I'm pff, astronomically stronger than he is. Um, even with even CS, the six kill difference is, you know, well, five kill because he does one. Still 1,500 gold that I have, and he doesn't. So that's a good half item. He doesn't really have anything as, like, boots or whatever, but it's not a... Not really making him dangerous, whereas I am well on my way to finishing the second of two major lethality items. So, that should be all hunky-dunky-dory. Okay, so he's going to block my shurikens. Not like it doesn't particularly matter, but... So that's, I guess, an interesting fact. Fact of the day, he blocked my shurikens. Looks like Udyr is giving them shits, but not enough shits, or at least not enough to for the shits to give him, so he's just gonna kind of die. I can hit Yas with that shuriken, because he's playing like an aggressive stupid fuck. Uh, you know, there we go. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yasuo has no brain in his head. Uh, the one good thing Yasuo is doing is just pushing hard into me. Uh, cause the way Yasuo shield work, can't really harass him effectively from pushing, just cause, you know, as a shield, that's the thing. Oh, missed that, that's unfortunate. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm throwing out, uh, my E, or W, E, uh, for the combo, and then waiting a little bit for his shield to go away before I throw shurikens at him. So that way I can actually get the damage out of my shurikens. Oh god, I, I literally missed the one thing I was looking at. That's terrible. So there you go. Just like that, wait for the pull to go away. Alright, so it looks like there is a bungle in the jungle that I'm going to go to to help my team. Um, obviously now he's dead, but that doesn't have to be a big deal. That can be a small deal, depending on how you play it. So, what's up, bitches? All right, so Yasu's beating on my tower because I left lane, which is, you know, the right thing for him to do. I'm just pointing out that he did it. So it looks like Udir is following me mid, um, which was really stupid of him because he had half health and I'm a fed Zed, but he did it and he suffered the consequences of his actions. So. Good for him. He made a bad choice, and he paid for it. Ooh, that actually hit him. Nice. I can kill him now. He comes back to lane. Yeah, what he should have done is he should have just backed off there because of how much stronger I am, and he didn't, and well, you, you, you saw how that played out for him. So, maybe next time he'll learn his lesson, but at 1 and 4, he's clearly not in the business of learning anything. Except for, you know, how to compensate with your screen always being gray. Um, so, between Yasuo and Udir, they're feeding me pretty well, and I just generally appreciate the opportunity to massacre all of them. Anyway, um, got a pickaxe, 
Probably gonna build that towards a Hydra. Um, we can definitely change it. We can also go Death Stance. Um, all I really know is that I'm going to be building damage with it at some point. So, um, I did talk about roaming earlier, but, you know, I decided that roaming into Janna or Janna, whatever the fuck her name is, this sounds awful and I'm not going to do it. So instead I didn't do it and I decided to stay home and just harass Zed. And it turned out to be a pretty fucking good idea because Zed is definitely getting harassed. Like, like oh, I didn't have any energy. That'll do it. Uh, hopefully Udyr gets greedy for this tower because if he does, he's gonna die. Alright, so he'll see Nami, move down, die like a hog, yeet, and there we go. Um, if I would have aimed my shuriken, I wouldn't have had to waste my ult there, but it's not a huge deal. Yasuo yeah, might get mid, um, depending on how efficiently Pantheon defends it. Um, I should get, t I should get bottom lane here, oh, Janna's back, never mind, I guess I'll leave. So on this back, I do want to get uh, my long term solution at boots. And since they have a Yasuo and Uthir and then maybe carry, I was gonna get Ninja Tabai. They reduce damage you take from auto attacks, which is, you know, useful when you get auto attacked a lot. So that's that game plan. Itemize your boots effectively. Don't just get the recommended boots because sometimes you need different boots for different situations. It's also the case they don't really have any CC on their team. That you can affect with tenacity, not just trying to affect you by tenacity. So, uh, the yoink from, what's his fucking face, uh, Lizard Ride Man, whatever his name is, Kled, not affected, Yasuo's knock-up, not affected, Janna's knock-up, not offended, or is it Janna, I don't know, it's either Jane or Janna, one's Janna, and then, or one's Janna or Jane, and then the other one is a character from World of Warcraft, and I don't, I don't, I don't know who's who, um, that's a summary there. And basically... So yeah, Janna... Janna, okay. So... Oh man, you use that special art, stupid. Um, okay. Cool, am I able to get that one? Yes! Boom, tretache. We got them all. Alright, nice. So what I did there is I used my existence as Zed to threaten the other team into focusing me and therefore not focusing on my team, which allowed Jinx and her, you know, critical damage to basically shoot for free. And it worked out because I killed two people with my damage. Well, one person with my damage. I actually just killed Udyr based on him being stupid. Um, she killed the other two and all in all it was a great exchange. It's really nice. I'm doing well. Jinx is now doing very well. Um, the only person who's really struggling is not Blaine Silas. But you you can very, very, very easily win a game with a struggling teammate, especially when they're your top laner. Because here's the fun thing about top laners. 95% of them, the ones who are dangerous when they're fed in lane, stop being dangerous after laning phases up because they can only duel. And the other ones or tanks, and it doesn't really matter if they're fat, because they just soak up damage and use their ultimates anyway. So, losing top lane isn't as big of a deal as you know, think. The only time it's really bad is if you lose lane to a late game top carry, like a Gangplank, but if you lose lane to Gangplank, well, let's be honest, you, uh, you didn't deserve to win. Gangplank is a terrible laner and really should not be relevant until about five hours into the game. So. I'm gonna give my, my boy Yasuo a little love tap there. Looks like Big Dick McRick is coming in for an interesting gameplay here. Oh, uh, looks like I'm getting run down by Lizard Man. Well, run down being a loosely used term because he really didn't, <laughs> didn't do much. Alright, cool. Got him off his lizard. Convenient. So we're just gonna push this wave into the tower. When you have a jinx, pushing towers is easy. What the fuck is this mad lad doing? Holy shit. That's, 
That's it. Oh my god. If he didn't flash the second jerk, I'd actually kill him. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is a very squishy Udyr, and I'm a very strong Zed. It's just a, it's a positive feeling, honestly. It's what it is. So. Word there. Word there. Kill that ward. Let's throw that shirt in. Wasn't intending to hit anybody. I mean, it wouldn't. It didn't. So it looks like Pantheon wants to do the Hinka Dinga Dargan. Jinx is going to help him. I'm going to set up this bush. If I need to pull this, I can fuck him up. Alright, now we need him up. Warren, just let me know. There was a word in that bush. Alright, I'm, I'm a fucking goon. I got played the whole time. Okay, I want you know what? God damn you, Jinx. I want I want I want the fucking money. So she's gonna spell shield there. No, is that Jinx shield? Whose shield is that? That is definitely a shield. I don't know who's. So they are gonna use Sippers. Oh, two, three. Janna, I'm not all the Sivir, pretty sure Sivir's in this bush. Alright, kill this fucker. Oh man, that one auto from myself that I hell of a lot of damage. Alright, so that's the end of Sivir. She juked, she deeked, she danced around the turret like a fancy motherfucker, but in, at the end of the day, she's just a, she's, she's just a dead body. Alright, I'm a little worried about Udyr. Um, you know, he's gonna die pretty fast, even though he bought armor, but at the same time, a stun and a tiger combined are probably enough to fuck up my whole day. So I'm gonna back here. So he runs up at me and does something stupid. He's gonna kill him. He's playing it safe. Good for him. He learned. And fuck the side. He tried that three times, I think. Didn't play up very well the first, and then it just got worse the second two, so... Time to head back. Honestly, top lane is probably our best bet here. Um, it's the most towers there, most gold, most objective, most whatever. So hopefully Jinx goes, does that red buff. Pantheon doesn't use red. Jinx does. So uh, it's going to push this top. Uh, I'm pretty safe here. At this point, I'd say they probably need three people to just kill me. They could maybe do it with two, but I'd kill at least one of them, and I'd have to fuck it up. Um, so you probably need three to stop me alone. Effectively, anyway. Which would allow the rest of my team. Jinx, Nami, Silas, Silas. Silas makes me more sense. It's definitely not Silas. And Pantheon to push whatever they decide to push. And as long as somebody is in Jinx's vicinity, um, she's probably not going to get killed. So, like I said, they send two people, one's gonna die, the other's just gonna not, um, I'm not even gonna really try to duke it out with him, there's kind of no point. So, I don't know where Clatterino went, um, he might still be here, he is, so... I don't know why they're not pushing mid harder, but they're not. Sounds interesting. Um, get him out of his lizard, dude. Make him walk around like a stupid fucking squirrel. Um, looks like Zed is pushing. Not Zed. I'm Zed. Uh, yeah. So I was back top lane, uh, which is a very interesting place for him to be. You know, there are these struggles he's had in the fighting the other person who's top lane right now department. But, uh, looks like he also went mid to deal with the rest of my team, which means I'm now alone top lane and I can do whatever I want. And then push pushes tower down. Uh, this is good for my team for me to be here because it takes pressure off of them because I'm putting pressure on a different part of the map than them. 
It's good for me because I get the soul farm and experience and I can continue to get stronger. Um, and really, everybody wins from me split pushing. Even though it looks like it's just a selfish thing to do. It's actually not. Um, so my team is going to go do Baron now, but again, I need to stay top. Just because if I'm putting pressure here, it's less pressure on them at Baron. So they're more likely to get it either uncontested or with very little convention. But, yep, see that? Udyr and Sivir are both more focused on me than anything else. Which means not only is my team doing Baron, but they're doing it very easily. So, that's why you want to do that. Where the hell does that work? It's not in this book, whatever. I can see. Just like Jinx is getting flanked by Udyr. That's bad things. Oh, she survived. Good for her. Now, is it relevant that she survived? In the green skin of things, probably not. She's very little health and won't do anything to her fight, but she survived, so. I suppose that could be happy for her. And then with one resounding auto attack, I do about 50,000 damage to Kled, and he dies. Um, obviously, Sever's the only one currently alive. She's not really gonna stop a five person push. Honestly, I don't know that this Sever has enough, you know, ability to stop a one person push. But, there you go. Yeah, I think the fuck not, Muchacho. I'm just gonna flash away from you. I don't wanna die. I'm gonna die the whole game, not dying now. Get the fuck out of here, bitch boy. He's doing a great job of distracting my team from ending the game, but not enough, because now he's dead. And there you go, GG, everybody. I hope you learned a lot of what he said. Um, and I will talk to you all next time.